I'm here today to talk to you about how to be a leader, an impossible subject in two minutes. Nevertheless, let's have a go at it. Whereas management is about the perfecting uh, of existing things at work, leadership is really all about changing the way people work so that you can improve the business performance. Leaders are really concerned with getting people to lean into the future, into the unknown and the unknowable. So what is it that people do uh, as leaders then? Well, they inspire people to do things they didn't think was possible. They create a vision so that people actually can put themselves into a task by being clear about the destination and how to get there. They solve problems. They resolve conflict between teams. They create teams that are naturally diverse, not just a bunch of people that are all the same. What are leaders? What do they possess? You know, if, if that's what they do, who are they? Well, good leaders have what's uh, called in the uh, trade as emotional literacy. That's not just kind of living inside your own head and kind of thinking out what you think uh, is going on around you. It's actually checking out what other people think about your leadership and responding to that. So it's living inside your own head and that of others. It's a great balancing act, really, leadership. You have to balance short-term amb ambitions with the long-term perspective. You have to balance people's need for comfort with the need to be outside of their uh, range of skills and a whole lot of other things. So what do leaders do on a daily basis? Well, they inspire people to reach goals and ambitions that they didn't think were possible, perhaps extending their skill set. They do, as I said, create this vision whereby people can see what the, the future holds because people tend to stop if they don't know what they're about to enter as, a, as an ambition. Uh, they will problem solve with their teams, help them to, under, to explore different options when they're stuck. They will counsel them, coach them, possibly love them uh, when they're feeling down and celebrate with them when they're feeling good. So it's worth exploring also what leaders are. Above all else, leaders have emotional literacy. That's not just living inside your own head, it's living inside other people's heads and finding out how you impact upon them so that you can get the best out of them. Good leaders also make good decisions. Now that balances head and heart, or if we're talking Star Trek here, Spock and Kirk. You can find out an awful lot more about leadership beyond these two minutes in my book, Sex, Leadership and Rock and Roll.